I've made another discovery. I picked up for two dollars a Seiko Digiglow clock. It's very similar to a Numicron. This one's in the Harvest Gold. And unfortunately, the motor in this clock has stripped gears. I took it apart and looked at it. And some teeth are missing, so the clock loses about 20 minutes an hour. I've already taken it apart and wanted to show something I kind of discovered. If anyone has one of these clocks that the clock is broken but the motor is good, I need a motor for mine. But the motor looks very familiar. I wish I could still get these. They're made by Seikyo. And I found this very interesting. I've got this new Micron. And it has the identical configuration on its cam. So the all-important question, will a Seikyo motor operate a Numicron clock? And the answer is yes. In fact, all I would have to do is drill and tap two holes. And bolt the motor on, just like that. And as you will see, I'll just hold it there. The motor trips the clock with absolutely no problem. It's a very simple replacement. Of course, this motor is bad, but anybody that's got one, I'll buy it from you. This clock, by the way, is already cleaned up and restored, including the base plate. The wooden cabinet is in the process of being refinished. It's a model 900, and it was also a trophy clock, which makes it worth a lot of money. I guess once when they were awarded as a trophy, it made them worth more. So it's getting refinished and the plaque will be reinstalled. Now what I actually want to do is restore my DigiGlow, but the motor's dead. So I was considering just doing the opposite and using, I don't want to undo the wires on this stuff, the uh, Penwood Numicron motor. Of course I'm going to configure a way to mount that just like that and yes the Penwood DigiGlow motor or the Penwood Numicron motor trips the DigiGlow clock and it fits almost perfectly again just a matter of drilling and tapping threads where the mounting brackets are I'm going to let this go all the way around one more minute and trip the clock again. I thought this was pretty interesting that these two clocks made by totally different companies would take the same type of motor configuration. And as long as this is held in exactly the right place, which isn't easy because the motor is quite warm, And missed. Didn't have it back far enough. But you can see where I'm coming from. In fact, no, I'm stuck. Stuck on the alarm. The alarm lever. There'd be no way to make the alarm work with this motor, I don't think. there isn't enough magnetism 
on the outside of the motor to start the alarm. So it would just become a regular clock. That's how the alarm works, vibrating this metal reed. So anyone with a Digiglo they want to sell, or an excessively beat up Numicron with a good motor, I would be interested. So there we have it, an American made motor, and a motor that's made in Japan. 100% brass gears, plastic gears that stripped out. The Numicrons.